Hi, welcome to the Jaffa programming tutorial. The last tutorial we're looking at the, the what do you call it again? The action listener um, for the checkboxes. What I've done since then is I've added the action listener to the radio buttons and the radio buttons are grouped together so that only one can be activated at a time. So if I click that one, this one back and if I click a different one, this one will not be checked checked again it will move to there and this will be unchecked and so only one at a time because they're all grouped together um, and that's a convention for um, check, um, radio buttons and check boxes is different you, you, the convention is you can select as many as you want so I'll show you the code um, so what is if I did if I did Check button and action listener added to it. Action listener added to the radio buttons. There, I've created, I've created them. Um, if I can get to it, like Boolean and um, variables, rad one, rad two, rad three, and so they can go from true to false, and that's outside main, so it's global. And inside main, I've initialized them all to false. So when when we go down to action listener, and remember we've got object C, E get source, E faint source, and whatever object that is, we've got a if statement. So that's for this button, and um, that's for the print in the menu, and this is for the first checkbox, second checkbox here and the third checkbox so if an event happens we can tell what object fired that event and do the appropriate code and so if I did other if statements three of them for radio buttons so if the radio button gets correct this one gets fired if the first radio button gets correct the second one this one gets fired this one gets executed and if it, the third one gets fired then this one gets executed and inside the code it's identical for each one apart from the variables is rad1 is true for the first one and rad2 and 3 is false and when we come down to the, the second one rad1 is false, rad2 is true and rad3 is false and so if we go down to the third one the first two is false and the, the final one is true and if printed out what each one needs to ask so you can see what's happening and so if we run the program which I'm already doing so as I, if I click I want you to see it so I'll move this over here so if we click like the first one um, radio 1 correct radio 1 true radio 2 two, false radio 3 false if I click the second one radio 2 correct Radio 1 false, Radio 2 um, true, and Radio 3 false. Now we click the third one. Radio 1 false, Radio 2 false, and Radio 3 true. So be because we can actually, and notice that only one at a time can be executed. Right, so that's using action listener. And so because we can actually set variables to true or false, we can use these to answer a question let's say for that question we're looking for rad2 to be true if rad2 is not true then the question is it's wrong so it's not going to get any points and so we can use it that way and so that's using the action listener and the the method for action listener is action performed now with the radio buttons we can also use um, change listener which uses change event and that will fire an action any change at all so we're not talking about clicking on a button what we're talking about just by moving the mouse over the top it's a change of events and so quickly I'm going to do this is I'm going to we'll go back up to find out where I am Right, we we'll go to radio buttons and 
I've added the action listener there. And um, what I'm going to do is I'm going to add radio one dot add change listener. There's something wrong with it. No, I spelled that right. One dot add change listener. I don't know what's off. So let's see. Type it out again. One dot add C. Oh, it's working. So and add um, change listener instead of action listener. And so that's what we're going to do. And so it's F, the same as the tutorial before. We've created that instance of this class, and it's not an anonymous um, instance object. Um, we've actually given it a name to access it and we gave it F we could have given it whatever we wanted and so we passed F to it and it doesn't like it for some reason yeah it, do, it does like it I've got to show you more and so what we've got to do this has not been um, implemented um, in the class like we done, did action listener and so we said implement action listener so what we need to do is implement the change listener so that's us implemented the change listener now we need to, to, to um, implement the method we've got the method for action listener at the bottom and it's called action performed well this is if I remember change event I'm not too sure what it's called, um, state change or something, I can't remember but we're going to find out and so if I click here it will say implement, un add an unimplemented methods, double click it and it will be added at the bottom. So state changed is the method and so action listener, the method is called action performed, changed, state changed is the method that's used with changed event, changed to change listener, and so the code that we put in here will be executed when the state of radio one changes. And so what I'm just going to do, just to show you, system dot alt dot print ln, and the state has changed so this is a, this is an opportunity to show you a different ax a listener um, and how to implement it and so you could use this for mouse offense but we've got a mouse motion listener and a mouse listener so but the more things you've got to your elbow the better you can code and the more variety you've got for coding and so what I'll do is I'll save this this is a code that's going to be executed when there's a change and notice it's it's passed change event and it's E and so we could change that to a different letter if we wanted to um, if we wanted, no reason why but just save, run the program now what we've got here is the first one is Scott and Cool is the first radio button that's the one we've added the chain, the change listener to. So any change to that will actually execute the code inside the state change method. So to show you that I'll click one that's not got that. That's what happens. Right, watch this I move over. So as soon as the mouse moves into Escort and Cool, the state has changed. Right, that's without clicking, just moving off. If I move up, as soon as I move off, then it's changed again. If I move off again, as soon as I go into that area for for this, then the state's changed. If I click, it's another change. I'm not sure if it's, yeah, it's changed. Anything we do at all will change that state, will appear. And because I clicked, we already had the action listener. The action listener was clicked into it. Um, and so if I move away it will happen again so so that I just wanted to show you that 
um, I just wanted to show you the the state change method and intermittent um, change listener because we've got a lot more listeners to do um, and so the other listener we can use um, with radio buttons is item listener and so what I'm going to do is I'm going to add that I'll leave that for the next tutorial and so so I hope that's been useful because it, it should be useful because if you're going to be programming um, graphical user interfaces then these listeners are very important and so it's like when we've done streams it's different streams you get to know your streams you'll get to know your listeners at the same time just in the same way and once you master, master them then you're a long way ahead in Java development so again thank you for your time